For tonight, just a little bit of direction, I think. We're going to start off with hat. We're going to build around that and uh, we're going to take a look at some reasons why we'll build around hat, what we're going to put with it to support it and what we're kind of looking out for in this format so far um, in regards to threats and what we have to consider when building teams. So hopefully it's helpful, hopefully it's useful. Hopefully we come up with something good and we have a little bit of time at the end and we can play some games with it. Okay, so we've got a few of you here. Are you guys ready to get into it? Start looking at some um, hat build. For tonight i mean hopefully you guys are quite happy with hatterine i mean one of the reasons why i picked it is it's, it's such a powerful pokemon in pretty much every series that we've seen it in um obviously it's always had its best buddy in uh in female and dd uh to help it set up with that psychic terrain which boosts its attacks and then the, the redirection as well but dd are no longer around so it makes it a little bit more tricky to um to get the Hatterene set up and uh, make full use of it. But there are still plenty of Pokemon out there that can uh, operate. And uh, we've seen, I think, so far in this format, Trick Room is very strong. Um, there are not as many Trick Room users, though, which makes it a bit more difficult, for sure. Um, Kfab2326, thank you so much for the follow. And thanks for joining us tonight. I hope you enjoy the stream. And uh, yeah. So that's that's the first problem, obviously. Um, now I've created a little doc here, so it should pop up. Wait there, where are we? Where's my notes? Where's my notes? DVA Jaro, how are you doing? I hope you're well. Thanks for joining us tonight. So yeah, I've created a little doc here. This is the kind of main stuff that we jump out of straight away that is going to be dangerous going into the format. Obviously, you can take components out of these this little list that we've got here like we've just got ferrothorn by itself because i think ferrothorn is like a, a bit of an anomaly it doesn't really need per se a team to kind of support it with how threatening it can be it's kind of one of those standalone pokemon that can win games by itself it's got the right uh like conditions you know um pz clef we've already just mentioned in the chat we've got life orb lapras plus talonflame another very strong pairing it's a bit like wimmy lapras that we've seen in the past, Dracovish, a bit like Ferrothorn, kind of a standalone can do stuff just because it's ridiculously strong. Pharaoh by itself for a good reason, but I would like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna add in there Dusclops for him because I like, obviously, like Shade saying, you know, with that core, it's probably gonna end up being one of the more popular cores that we'll see there. And you can probably tag on like Arcanine to that as well. Which gives you like, you know, Intimidate, another nice switch and things like that. Uh, other than that, we got uh, things that we're seeing popular. Trick Room up here, still super relevant. Again, uh, very strong. Um, mainly going to be Dusclops there, isn't it? With, um, with the Trick Room. Uh, but very good. Durant Urshifu, uh, another call. I was actually talking with Krim about this, not... Long before the stream, and it is an extremely strong pairing, one that we're probably going to see a lot of, and one that you're going to need to be aware of going into the new format. Uh, so something we're going to have to consider in the team building. Zod Sableye, I've just thrown that in there because it's getting a lot of talk at the minute. People are hyping it up quite a bit. It is seeing a little bit of play. I don't know if it'll be something that has the longevity like some people are uh, expecting, but it's definitely worth considering. Sableye's a, a very good support Pokemon. Um... And without the kind of checks that it had in the previous format, uh, I think it has a lot more free reign to do what it wants and support a lot better. Uh, Klops Gigalith as well is there. And Terrakian as well. Terrakian, but beat up stuff. Um, is definitely, definitely something you need to consider for sure. Because if you don't uh, respect it, it will just run through you. Uh, like Cobblion, uh, Sneasel, Weavile. Koba, Terrakian, and it even got Verizian, you know. I think Verizian has got potential in this format with how few and far between the grass types are in this format. And Concordur, if you go in Trick Room with Hat, I like that a lot. I like Concordur in this format. I think Concordur has got a lot of potential in this format for sure. Nappy, how are you doing, mate? I hope you're well. I'm starting to have compound hatred for Arcanine. <laughs> 
<laughs> Antonio, thank you so much for the um, for the subscribe there, my friend. And thanks for joining us tonight, dude. I hope you enjoyed the stream with us all. Tune in. Prefer Sneezer because of any focus. Me too. I think, like, you're inviting the fake out if you're going Weavile. And it's not really worth it for the extra speed, honestly. Um, whether or not you want to go, like, completely safe and go, like, scoffed Sneasel, I don't know if it's worth it. But it would then guarantee your Colossal setup 100%, wouldn't it? Uh, or at least most of the time. Well, 100% of the time, wouldn't it? Um, but, yeah, Colossal is actually something I haven't even got on this list. Um... How could I not? Because that is 100% something you 100% need to consider. And the other thing is as well, like you've got to kind of like pen in there, Prim, because Prim gets the Aqua Jet. Uh... So there's plenty of stuff already. Like you can see, like this list can keep going on and on and on because um, it, it's going to, it, there is so many things to consider already late uh not to detract too much from uh building part but i think the team with intellion vanillux hydreigon is going to be a real threat as well i like the sound of that man uh vanillux as well i think hail is like uh seriously not being looked at close enough but it's hard to say that when there's like so many like new calls and things popping up but i do like the sound of that i'm gonna wear uh, i'm just gonna we're going to just steal that <laughs> for later on. Um, but yeah, nice, nice shout. Skip us, how are you doing, my friend? Thanks for joining us tonight. I hope you're well, having a good day. You might remember it from the Series 1 in Telling Velux. Yeah, I do remember it, dude, very well. Uh, bulky archetypes seem to be very good, like uh, Arcanine, Gus, Corviknight. Corviknight as well, another one. Gastro, Rotomor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all re yeah, and I mean, that, that for a reason, I think the team's... I think we talked about it on Wednesday. Teams with like that really solid synergy. Like if you build your team, uh, the baseline is that synergy. Like it's got great synergy. You've got great switching potential between all of the Pokemon. I mean that baseline for any team build, especially like if you're adding like good defensive bulk with that. I mean you've got a very good base to kind of build on from there. So it's always a good thing to kind of really, really take a look at and consider for going forward uh, if you can implement it into a certain strategy and it's it's difficult because it, you know if you're going down a hat rain route or something like that you're kind of tied to needing certain texts to make that team operate so it's not always the case of being like oh well we need a we need a steel type in here or we need a fire type in here uh it's sometimes you might not be able to fit those in or there isn't pokemon available but for most of the time it is going to be easy i'm just trying to throw out that as a as a thing to kind of just make sure you kind of think of a little bit i think starting with hatterene the first challenge is figuring out how to set up trick room versus duraladon need to cover both help enhance steel spike and steel spikes spread move that's an incredible suggestion and a good starting point like stalwart um because yeah help enhance steel spike <sighs> And yeah, all oh, spread plus steel spike. Both horrendous. If I do, I built a team with Barascuda, choice band with Protel Tail, that one shot PZ, and Dynamax PZ. Nice dude. <laughs> PZ hit. I'm on board. I'm on board. I like it. I have a separate team mode to deal with the Raladon stuff. That's the thing I was just about to say. I think like uh, we either go down a route where, you know, because you can't go for redirection with the Rattledon in front of you. You just can't do that. So um, you could look at the Beery Berry, but you kind of need to max to be able to take that. And then by the time you've done that, the Hatterene is useless. So it's not really a very viable way to go forward with that option. Um, I think maybe a different mode to deal with the Rattledon stuff is probably maybe a better idea. Um, there's always... Dusclops. I think a second Trick Rumor, uh, when you look at Hatterene, uh, if we can have like a second Trick Rumor might be good. And this is, I'm just spitballing here. So if we have Duraladon stuff, you could have uh, Rhyperia, you could have Dusclops. Dusclops is going to be probably one of your better ways to actually get the Trick Room up. You can probably tank um, <laughs> Helping Hand Max Darkness uh, from, from uh, Duraladon with Dusclops. Probably. 
Should we just have a quick look? Damage calculator. I need to remind myself. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to. Let's see. Let's have a look. Let's go to, over to this one. Why am I writing Hatterene? Got Hatterene on the brain. We need Duraludon. I'm going to chuck on a life orb. We're going to go darkness. Dark pulse. Okay. Uh, oh, it's going to be very close. I mean, we can take it. <laughs> That's max max. So uh, you have to be, you literally have to, you have to go max max, which leaves you a bit vulnerable on the defensive side, but you can probably get away with it in this format. So you could potentially do it. Could potentially do it. I don't know if it's the right way to go around it, but you could potentially do that. Uh, Crofty, you could lead Lipod Max Guard. Yeah, and that's definitely something to, to discuss because I think it's an option for sure. I think Lipod, I really like Lipod, this format. Um, and obviously with Prankster and Copycat, we saw earlier on in the format and um, where you Max Guard, Hat, Turn 1, you're wasting a turn of your Max um, turns, which is the, the only drawback with this. Um, and then you copycat with Lipod, um, which copies the, the Trick Room from the Max Guard, and then you get your Trick Room up, uh, which is pretty nice. It's a pretty neat strategy. So it's definitely something to think about. But if we're going down a Duraludon route, um, yeah, I mean, help in hand, Max Steel Spike, we're, we're just not dealing with that at all. So you really need to think about how we're going to get a Trick Room up. Because that's pri primarily the first thing we need to do with hat, and you you've got to do you've got to do when you're not max. So that's the way. Unless you go lipod, of course. So what's a good check to Duraludon in this format? You could go snarl support for sure. That kind of negates the help in hand, um, but then still not taking away the issue of being like absolutely. Uh, nailed by the the max steel spike a strong option is babiri berry plus snarl lead ah there we go uh, minus one uh, steel spike doesn't kill babiri hat yeah i like the idea uh shade the, the the snarl definitely helps out i think uh duraludon's like biggest kind of like thorn in its side for most most of the part is is a snarl user um fastest one best one to kind of go up against Duraludon normally you're looking at something like Arcanine I think Persian's definitely worth looking at um it's a very interesting Pokemon gets access to Snarl gets access to Parting Shot uh gets access to Fake Out as well um which is interesting um and can support Hat pretty well with Snarl Parting Shot um also the fake out, of course. Um, and what was I about to say? And yeah, with the parting shot, obviously you can parting shot if you want, set the trick room up if you're in a decent position and get your trick room, your other trick room uh, mon in beside it. So there is that option as well. Um, and uh, like in the Persian option, Crocodile can also run Snarl, has ground coverage for the Drala, and might be cool. I actually really like Crocodile. I really like Crocodile. Crocodile is a really interesting Pokemon. Um, and yeah, has that Intimidate. Uh, has Snarl. Has access to Snarl. Has access to Taunt as well. Um, has access to a bunch of stuff. Uh, obviously, uh, close combat it gets now. High horsepower. Um, and it's it's a pretty strong Pokemon. Base 117. Attack stat is good. Speed stat is very good. Uh, 92. Um only issue is like Urshifu gives it a bit of trouble, but the Intimidate's useful, uh, of course. Um, if you know after the build, you do best. Of course, dude. If we've got time, if we've got time, I have to say. Uh, shared vouching 100% for Persian. I'm I'm on board with that. Okay. Uh, Butterfree, Sleep Powder, the Duraludon still have Rage Powder if they don't lead Duraludon. Now, that's a nice idea, you know. And um, we have seen that in the past with uh, very successful... Um, very successful Hatterene teams, you know. Um, Toby ran one. I, which regional was it he won? But he, he did that. Um, so you could go Butterfree here. Um, and obviously with the Sash, you've got the option to uh, put Duraludon to sleep. 
to sleep um, straight away, which is quite nice. And obviously the Rage Powder here, which can... Um, you probably want to go Focus Sash. You could go Scarf. I probably wouldn't. No, I'd probably go Focus Sash. Um, is a nice option just to make sure that you're always getting your Trick Room up. I think it depends how we want to go with the team. Do we want to go like full trick room or do we want to have like part trick room with maybe like an element where we've got a faster mode in there as well. So it would depend on which direction we kind of want to take the team in general on what ground type because you could go Crocodile. But then like I'm thinking along the lines, maybe Rhyperia uh, could be a secondary um, trick room abuser uh, alongside Hatterene. Say if we get the trick room up, Hat's not on the best of positions. We don't want to max it. So we've definitely got a secondary trick room attacker to kind of fall back on. Uh, something like Rhyperia could be an option. It's just a, I'm just spitballing here with ideas. Okay. We happy to go with Persian. I think Persian's a nice shout here. I think it's got the speed stat to kind of support everything. The other option is obviously to look at and not kind of forget about is Salazzle. Uh, it's an interesting pick for sure. It's uh, it's a little bit faster than uh, than Persian. Um, so the core is Persian Hatterene. Well, no, the kind of team starting off with with Hat. We're just looking at ways to support it. Um, obviously, the biggest problem right now that we're going to look at and probably the one that we need to look at um that shade pointed out is uh help enhance steel spike or spread attack with steel spike from something like uh from duraladon max duraladon into hatterene because of the stalwart super effective attack uh we can't use redirection in that scenario to help us set the trick room up so we need to look at that because if we don't look at that as an as an as an issue then when it does come up in battle there's going to be players that are smart enough to identify that that we don't have anything to get around that and they'll just lead that and we'll get wiped out and that doesn't work so we need to approach the the issues first and then kind of build the core up around that once we've got solid ways to get a trick room up then we can flesh out the trick room mode of the team because then it makes sense to to go down that route if that makes sense um Torakat doesn't get snarled does it not oh that is if Torakat got snarled that would definitely put it on the map Talonflame is a good partner for Primarina. Definitely. I like it. I like I like Talonflame a lot. Um, and Klops wasn't a terrible idea if you're going to go with Rhyperia. I think, yeah, I think, like, definitely if we go Klops here, like, say if we go Klops, I think then we go Rhyperia because then it gives us a completely separate mod to the team altogether. Um... And I think Persian still works with, with everything in there, potentially. Um, the thing with the Persian is it does give the support for the Hatterene. So, like, we're going to go uh, Dazzle for sure. We're going to go Expanding Force. Um, and probably Mystic. Mystic or Fire. And then the Beery Berry. Because one thing we could do is hop over to our damage calculator just very quickly. Just bang in Hatterene. Uh, we've already got Duraladon. We've already got the Life Orb on there. So we want to calc at the, like, the most damage it's going to throw out at us, right? Um, let's check on a Bibiri Berry. And let's see. So a Helping Hand Flash Cannon from a, a Life Orb. Helping Handed Duraladon. We can take that. But that is a lot of damage, right? That is a lot of damage. Like you get the Trick Room up, you're not going to be doing much after that. You're not going to be maxing Hatter in that situation. Whereas if you can get that then maybe with a little bit of tweaking the EV spread, you can reduce that down a little bit. Um, and then, you know, maybe there you could consider, yeah, okay, well, we'll, we'll we can max. Um, we can max Hatterene in that situation. Um, and Krim, not sure you need Persian if you go Klops. More important to have redirection then. Um, yeah, I mean, that's also... That's also something to consider. If you've got this core here with the Klops and the Rhyperia, for sure. Because then you can probably get your Trick Room up quite comfortably with Dust Klops. And then Rhyperia threatens Duraladon all day long. Um, which is not a bad option. And then, yeah, Redirection. I mean, the other option is here. What you could do... Hmm. The thing is, though, you're going to need Snarl 
really if you're going blueberry berry on hatterene you really want to have like like shade was talking about earlier you really need to have a way to reduce the damage on duraludon before it gets that attack off because if you don't then you're going to be looking at like you're you're on like bare bonds of attack with hatterene get your trick room up um and it's not going to be great uh like going forward from there whereas if you've got the snarl like persian fits perfectly in here i think I feel like I've just been sold this idea after mentioning it. You can consider Gastrodon against Duraludon. Yeah, I mean, that is a nice shout for sure because Gastrodon does like super well against... Um, so that's definitely a different option you could go down. Um, I'm kind of really sold on the, the Persian here. Gastrodon's definitely an option though, especially because um, there's a lot of bulky waters in the format at the minute and Gastrodon does a super good job. The only issue with Gastrodon, I would say, is maybe... Ferrothorn at the minute you're setting the trick room up you've already got Hatterene that doesn't really do great against Ferrothorn and then you're throwing Gastrodon in there as well and I mean you could say the same thing about uh, Rhyperia but the one thing Rhyperia does have going for it is it does get Fire Punch, Hatterene does get Mystical Fire so at least they've got ways to kind of hit uh, Ferrothorn for decent damage at least. Uh, and Nappy, it also gets Surf to activate weakness policy. That's true. That is very true. That is very true. Man. We've got to make some decisions, though. Because I think that's the biggest thing going forward. We've got to, like, make some decisions on what we're going to go with. That's the thing, like, you've got to think of, like, Pokemon that can, like, easily beat. Primarina um, and some of the other stuff uh, that you're going to see in Trick Room. Like Gigalith, uh, Mudsdale, for sure. Uh, so Pokemon that can take advantage of the Trick Room that way. I mean, this is why I'd maybe lean a little bit more on Hatterene because if you can get Hatterene in a Trick Room, Hatterene does super well against all those stuff. Um, and Krim, Hat still hits well. I would drop Persian in that instance. I think, yeah, if I was to do it, I would probably go there. I'd probably go this mod and I'd probably do this. I'd probably go more offensive Hat. Uh, and I, yeah, I probably have Dusclops as our main trick room setup. Um, with the current four, we could fill it out with Ferrothorn Primarina or Primarina Arcanine. Yeah, I mean, that, that kind of goes nice, doesn't it? Primarina and Arcanine. Definitely works. <sighs> and when you look at it, you're like, yeah, that could definitely work. I like Ferrothorn as well, but I think the thing with Ferrothorn is we lose the redirection, which may be the one thing that we need for Dusclops uh, to help it set the trick room up. That's the only thing that I would say, like, Amoongus gives us over everything else. Um, but yeah, I mean, this feels pretty nice, right? I mean, you've got you've got the Snarl, which helps against Duraludon, um, which kind of is what we, if we were in a pinch needed some support against Duraludon. You've got Primarina, so you've got a nice Firewalk Grass Call. Um, you've also got two amazingly strong Trick Room Pokemon um, that can just deal with most stuff. A solid Trick Room Setter, secondary sick Trick Room Setter, another Trick Room Abuser really in Primarina to be honest. Um, and you could go, you could go, well, you probably would go Assault Vest on it if you were going Life Orb on Hat. So, I mean, it kind of, I guess my biggest issue right now is it doesn't really know uh, why there's a Hat on the team anyway. I think that's the biggest thing, right? Because you've got Primarina here and you think, okay, well, I either have my Rhyperia mode or my Primarina mode and Hat gets lost a little bit in the mix here. That's the only issue, I think, which isn't great. Like, I think the thing is, like, that is true what um, what Shade said. I think you kind of look and why would you go Hatterene if, if you've got the Primarina in there. Primarina kind of overtakes what Hatterene's doing. So you maybe want something else, like another water type in here. What, like, are we going to struggle against right now? Um, and a water type. Like, what's going to give us a lot of issues? I think Primarina is obviously going to give us a lot of issues right now. I think Primarina is uh, pretty tough to take down to deal with, especially for something like Rhyperia. Um, I don't know why, but I'm kind of thinking like Rotom Wash could be a mod outside of our Trick Room. 
uh, that we could make use of because Lapras is also something that could be a little bit tricky to play around. Uh, we're going to take big damage, whatever we do. And like Life Orb or Weakness Policy Lapras, going to do chunks to Dusclops. Uh, we're going to be able to get a Trick Room up, but they run a lot of Comfy as well. So that could be a little bit of an issue. Uh, You'd be relying on an Amoongus to do a lot of work in those games. So maybe a, a Rotten Wash could fit in this core. I think Coil Melotic could be cool in this team. Hypnosis stuff will help Dusclops set Trick Room a second time if necessary. That's a really good point as well. Um, Gusta's pretty well versus Prim. That's another point. Yeah. Um, I mean, Among Us does pretty well against most most of the bulky waters. Covers things like Mudstale, Rhyperia pretty well. That's good, actually, because, yeah, when you think about the mirror as well, the mirror is very awkward. And the one thing that you're probably going to see a lot of teams uh, do is bring Intimidate, like bring their Intimidator, which will probably also have Snarl to kind of shut down or slow down Hatterene, which wouldn't be ideal. Um... So that's not a bad option, like Melotic there, and then you're looking at a fire type as your last kind of option. If you want to go down the firewall grass call, because I think we've got a trick room mod kind of sewn up here pretty well. You could go Volcarona. Volcarona maybe an option. And then you could maybe change Amoongus for Ferrothorn. It's just an option, what I'm I'm thinking here, because then if you've got a hypnosis on Melotic, then you you kind of not missing where you're dropping this ball. Uh, and shit. <laughs> Volcarona might be a really cool idea. Okay, I swear I read that after I said this. This feels kind of nice to me. Honestly, because then I think with Ferrothorn, rather than having a Moongus, which is going to be your supporting Pokemon, you've got a Pokemon that can be a kind of a Trick Room Sweeper as well. Okay? You've also got Volcarona. Uh, now, I know we've lost Intimidate, but we... Can probably get away without Intimidate, to be honest. Um, I think Melotic can do a job well enough. And Corndeezy, how often do I stream? So three times a week, dude. Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, I stream at 8 p.m. Uh, every every one of those evenings. So um, the only the only time we won't be is I'm actually away next week, and um, so I won't be around at all next week. So there won't be any streams next week. But we'll be back on the Monday, um, a week on Monday. So yeah, avoid we avoid with this set, this set <laughs> going for any sort of ally switch because we just don't want to influence. We don't want to bring that, do we ever? Uh, we want solid rock. Hi. Horsepower. Let's flesh this out. I really like this six. I think this six makes a lot of sense. We can totally change things up. Hmm. Do we want fire punch? Or ice punch? Or hammer arm or something? I don't know. Let's just chuck protect on there for the minute. We got that. That. I think the coil set's pretty nice. For sure. Uh, hypnosis. Cover. Works super nice. Works super nice this. Only thing is, it leaves us a bit vulnerable to Gastrodon, but that's alright. That's not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> Rock Wrecker. And Krim. I think if you had Gus with Giga Drain, it's viable. But surely not if you don't have Gus. Yeah. And then if Ferret is a problem. Go fire punch. That's what I think. I like. I think like yeah. Fire punch. I would have went fire punch there. I think that would have been my first kind of place to go because I feel like obviously we got Volcarona, which helps against Ferrothorn. But if we lose Volk, then we've not really. I mean, we do have Hat with Mystical Fire as well, which does help against it for sure. Majority of Ferrothorn are going to be running the uh, the body press with with Iron Defense. And then Leech Seed. <sighs> Which I'm kind of really thinking about whether or not we run this set. And maybe whether we run something more along the lines of an older Ferrothorn set. With maybe something like that. I think the Power Whip's kind of... It's very strong against a Primarina and, and things like that. So it's definitely an option. Definitely an option at the minute. We need to decide though. An AV. There we go. There's an option. AV Ferrothorn. That could be super nice, actually. It's a really nice option. I think you're right. 
shade. That's the thing. I think the power wave for Gyro Ball, it's just what we go with in the last few slots. And that would totally catch people off guard as well, I think. How are we going to proc uh, weakness policy on Rhyperia? Normally, we this would be the, the most straightforward method to do. With the dust clops, we set the trick room and then we just bulldoze, get the weakness policy proc'd and kind of go from there. Body press. Knockoff. I didn't realize it's still got knockoff. That's super nice. That's an option for sure. Because I think these are the two most important. If the AV doesn't work out for us, then I think probably Leech Seed Protect, probably the next best thing. And that's a super old substandard set uh, that you used to see um, over and over. And Krim, I still vote for Rock Wrecker and Rhyperia. <laughs> still going for it. Uh, we need Heat Wave on Volcarona. Um, I don't know if we want String Shot. I think Struggle Bug is a really nice option. Because then it acts like the snarl, for sure. Baikai87, thank you so much for the sub. And again, thanks for joining us tonight. It's really great having you here. Um, and I hope you are enjoying it. Um, okay. Knockoff is pretty pretty decent utility overall. Yeah. Uh, what's that? Just a uh, super funny. What if we put Acid Spur and Ferrothorn over Knockoff? Ha. Huh. That's a great idea. I love it. I love that idea. Ha ha ha. That's a great idea, because then, oh, that's nasty, isn't it? Because you get the ferret in on the field next to the Hatterene, and you just literally blitz everything. Literally everything would just be gone. Oh, yeah, and Melotic as well. That's super nice. Mm. And no one's going to suspect Assault Vest Ferret, are they? No one. Um, yeah, I like that a lot. I really like that a lot. I think that's super nice. Um, so, are we going to go Will-O-Wisp? That's full kind of support. We could go Rage Powder there and just throw a Sash on it. And go full support. Kind of works. I don't know if we need Protect on it. Um... We've not got very much protect on the team in general. That's the one thing I'd say we got down for. We got one protect in the team. <laughs> I don't know. It could work. We don't necessarily need protect on anything. So we need some spreads. I mean, we can just be like super lazy at the minute and just go for just the really, really, really just run of the line. Like generic stuff. Just gen just bish bash bosh. Just so we can get the team done on the ladder. I kind of tend to like to do this a lot anyway, because EV and, and like tweaking stuff is something that I kind of like to come back to, um, in all honesty. Um, I'm going to go with this on Dusclops, just because of that calc that we saw earlier. If we're, if we're missing defensive investment, it does put us a little bit more at risk from something like um, Fighting Dog Urshifu, but at the same time, uh, we do have Melotic Bulk to help us in that situation. Um, but this means that we can take the, the max darkness from helping hand life orb uh, Duraludon. How much speed do you think we need on Melotic though? Like what are we looking at here? What do we want to be hitting? Um, I feel like even if we go nothing, it's kind of like it's speedy enough. It's not like we need to be hitting like 113 to get T-Tar anymore or anything like that. I'm kind of this is the hard thing about speed tiering stuff right now as well because it's hard to really gauge because the format's not really officially started yet we're kind of just guessing um where we want to go definitely want some in defense but where we what what defense do we want oh yeah we need to change uh <laughs> we need that frisk the super solid pressure ability um okay I don't think we need to do anything other than this on Volcarona. I mean, we could go max HP for sure and just forget about the, the special attack. Could be an option. Um, I don't know if we really necessarily need to do that. We're probably better off just going with that for the just the damage I put on these two alone, especially with the Sash. Shade saying go supportive, go full HP. What did we have? Uh, 108. 
140. And then we had 20, but we're going to be squeaking 4 and 4. Maybe. Something like that. Maybe. So, I mean, that might be alright for now. If it's not great, then we can always come back and, and tweak it a bit later on. Um, what were we going to change as well? Was there something else that we wanted to do? Uh, Farah, we definitely need an AV set for then. 252156 and then yeah 92 and then oh, oh yeah we're gonna have one left over so I mean that's fine and we're sassy also Ironhead may be better than Jarabol and Ferris since the fairies are pretty slow now uh yeah actually that's a really good point because all the fairies like Sylvia and Hat Clefairy all very slow yeah really good point actually yeah that's like super relevant I would have just went into this and been like chucking Jarrah balls around and been like, we can't even kill a single fairy because <laughs> all of them are like just a point or two faster than us. Okay. Um, do we want to tweak the Hatterene? Maybe. I think that looks, that looks pretty good for now. I mean, there's probably like EV spreads we want to tweak a little bit. I think like obviously right here, we want to refine that. I think hat, we probably want to refine. Um, We'll probably want to refine everything. If it feels like it's going to work, I think, yeah. Well, team, I think we've done a, a pretty outstanding job here. I think this looks pretty nice. Tell you what I'm going to do. Let's just do this. It's like going to a party and getting, like, a little goodie bag to take away with you. A uh, friend team hat. Hat stream. Friends team hat had stream um there we go okay so here's a poker piss i'm just gonna drop this in the chat okay bad jarrow uh we can certainly have a battle my friend um i'm gonna just jump on let's see the vgc room games what is this <laughs> what is this <laughs> oh, can you believe it av <laughs> that makes sense dude Oh, say great shit. Ah, oh, dude. Good luck. Have fun, man. Okay, well, we got this disgusting mirror now, but this is going to be... <laughs> this is going to be fun. Okay, dude. Good luck. Have fun. Now, dude, your team's nice. Alfato, honestly, nice team. It's a nice team. It was horrible to play against, dude, so that's always a good sign. But uh, take care, dude. Thanks for coming by the stream. Hopefully, I'll catch you in another one very soon, mate. But keep working on that team. It's it's nice. It's nice to see uh, some some of those mons that you don't see too often, dude. Uh, big props on that. Right. The mirror. What are we going to do in the mirror? Uh, okay. I think we're probably going to need this mon. This mon's very important for us. Very important for us. Very important. I think this mon and... Um, kind of... <laughs> <laughs> tempted to go with this mon as well um go for melotic and uh ferris for ferris horrible uh i don't know if we need our own trick room here i think i might just go okay 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 I think I'm going to bring Farah as well. I think we need Farah. I think we need it. So we'll see what they're going to leave. Dusclops. Hat. Okay. That's fine. That's super fine. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Strugs and I'm going to go for... Huh. Do I, do I max here? I think I do. Yeah. Let's go for, kind of want to get the Psychic Trainer, but I don't as well because it's totally going to backfire and go against us. If we can get like lucky with some G-Max Smites, that would be good. Okay. I bring in Rhyperia. That's fine. Get a little bit of chip. It's not really going to help us now, but it's all right. We get the Confusion, which is the good thing because we can stop them. Okay, the Trick Room's up. They're still confused. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, we switch. We preserve Volcarona for later. Um, get Ferrothorn onto the field. And I am going to attack with Mindstorm into Rhyperia. 
There's the uh, there's your bulldoze. Plus two. Come on, Hyperia. Gone. Okay. Didn't want to max. That's interesting. Didn't want to max. I think if you max there, you survive that. And then you've got to get through the confusion. Okay, we've got a psychic turnip, so we're, we're not in the worst spot right now. But it's nowhere near over there. You still got our max Pokemon to come in and, and make use of. Okay, Vol coming in. Um, we have to switch out to Melotic. And um, we, we have to. Hmm. Actually, 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 let's attack with Acid Spray. And then go for the Mindstorm into Volk. Okay, we need... Ah, oh, the Bulldoze is made. No, why is... Why is Hat not... Ferrothorn should be slower. So we need to adjust that. I mustn't have the right spread set up. Um, okay, this is... Tricky, 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 tricky. Um, how many turns of trick room left? Not many. Okay, attack. We've got Iron Head. Iron Head, and we'll go um, Expanding Force into Dusk Lock. Mm, no. Mm. Definitely Iron Heading. Oh, do we actually? Do we just go Acid Spray and then attack with Dazzling Gleam? I think that's pretty, maybe a better idea. Okay, where are you attacking, Hat? Go Max Flare. Okay, that makes it more difficult for um, Melotic to get going, but it can't bring Volcarona in just yet. So we will could go for a cheeky Hypnosis. We could go for a Coil, because the Trick Room ends this next turn. If we can get away with... Uh, I'm going to go for another Dazzle. Oh, it's close. It's close. It's very close. It's very close. Okay, there's a smite. We actually survive. Okay, that's pretty nice. Melotic's just a beast, isn't it? Do we get the coil off? We do. Okay, there we go. It's on. Um, Now we can put the Dusclops to sleep. Actually, no. We just muddy water. Just muddy water. That should be enough to get the hat and attack an expanding force. No. <laughs> 1%. We do get an attack off though. Okay, we get lucky with a big crit there. Okay. Um, and then, yeah. Now Vault comes in and Heatwave should be enough at this point to kind of clean up. So, um, one buddy. And we'll go Heatwave. That should be, should be enough. Should be, hopefully. Let's just have a quick look at the team builder. Yeah, what, what speed have we got? Ah, oh, that's why. Okay, that was... Bad play, bad play. And we've got that is right. Okay, so that's all good. Keep with hits and Muddy Water hits. There we go. Good game, my friend. Good game, man. Good game, dude. Uh, good game. Oh, we've got... Ah. How are we pronouncing that? Gyru? Gyru? Okay, we'll go for this one. There we go. This looks a nice team. We've got Weavile, we've got Bravery, uh, Rotom Wash, Hydreigon, God of War, and Arcanine. Okay. Good game, dude. Honestly, good game, man. It's like the Mirror's is going to be super messy, but really nice to play on stream as well. Uh, okay. So. Um, trick room for us. I think God of War has probably got in prison, so it's going to be very difficult to get the trick room up initially, but Volcarona is pretty good here, to be honest. Um, not having... Uh, the problem is with Volk, like, bringing it, I kind of want to bring it to like, Strugglebug, like, the likes of God of War, High Dragon, Rotom. Don't want to do that against Bravery, though, do we? Um... But Melotic's pretty good here as well, to be honest. That lead's pretty nice, to be honest. Um, do I want to bring Dusclops? Uh, I think we need Hat. Hat's, like, really good here. Maybe Hat Rhyperia. 
Okay. They're going to definitely fake us out. Or they're going to ice shard and uh, weakness policy, I think. Um, struggle bug. And let's coil. See what they're going to do. Okay, it's a taunt. That's fine. So really don't mind that at all. Like, put them down to... Oh, actually, really mind that. <laughs> weakness policy, there we go. Okay. Max Quake coming out, getting that... And we can't coil after that, so we'll go for another struggle bug. And I guess we just muddy water at this point because we'll probably take down the Weavile from here. Um, and we'll be able to get rid of the weakness policy boost from the the, the High Dragon, which is always good. Um, it's going to get boosted up, but I mean, it's kind of fine. Missed the Weavile, which isn't great. Uh huh. Okay, let's bring in Rhyperia. Because what I'm going to do is protect. Hope they actually attack into Rhyperia. Um, they do have Rotom, which could be a little bit tricky. Uh, okay. Um, okay, I think we'll do this. I think we'll do this. I think they target down right period here. I don't think they worry too much about. Yeah, they got magic bounce. They're going after. Wow. Okay. Huh. I would have thought you went max quick there with how like especially defensive we are. Um. Okay. Never mind. Um. Do I keep Rhyperia in or do I max at this point? I mean, I'm just going to rock slide. I think we'll switch out and we'll go into Melotic. Ah, uh, if we just got there a little bit earlier, that would have been fine, wouldn't it? Yeah, there's a flash cannon. We'll get the rock slide. Is that a crit on Hagdragon? It was, so that's pretty lucky. That's a nasty crit. Yeah, I think she had like, uh, yeah, and just go on the Rage Powder and Trick Room. Um, I think that might have been the better play. I think we've got to be a little bit careful here because of the will o -Wisp potential coming out. Um, but we can get, we can start the coil. So we can get a coil off here, which is, which is always useful. Because I think Melotic, um, okay, we're seeing the Arcanine Protect. And double Protect from my opponent. So we get the free coil. Okay. So we're in a really nice spot now. We can just muddy water this next turn. I probably want to actually just sack Hat at this point. Because um, I think Rhyperia is more important for us right now when we're looking at things. So Scorching Sand's coming out uh, and Dark Pulse. Let me get the... Okay, muddy water. Not actually enough to take down the High Dragon. But uh, not the worst. I think you... Hmm, okay. Let's try and get the trick room. I don't think we're going to. Um, and just go for a recover. Yeah. If they double into Melotic here. No, they're not going to do that. All right. That's fine. Um, okay. <laughs> Protect. No, actually, let's. What have they got on the back? What have they got on the back? I think I'm just going to rock slide again um, and recover. Ah. Okay, forgetting about the uh, the taunt there again. Okay, and it's God of War. Gets a solid rock. Nice. Okay, but I mean we can just max now. Max quick and uh, Muddy Water. We've pretty much got this. Solid rock. That's an that's the probably one of the best abilities to trace. But yeah, good game to my opponent there. Uh, managed to just eat that out. But I think 
what Shade was saying is right. I think that the lead would have been... Okay, we've got Breezy up next. I think the lead, uh, Volcarona and Hat there, get the redirection, the Trick Room setup would have been a way better play. Okay, so what do we got? Uh, Renulicus, uh, Lipard, Volcarona, Dusclops, Primarina, and Ferrothorn. Okay. It's pretty Trick Room centric. It's a lot like our team, really. It's a lot... Uh, it's, they've got a lot of the elements similar to ours except they got the prim of the the melodic sleet instead of the uh they got lipod as well um and renulicless of a hat i think what we'll do i mean hmm. i'm gonna lead hat and i think i'm gonna lead volk as well like we just talked about um, oh, we lead hat melodic, which isn't bad at all either. Um, and I think we want Ferrothorn because they really only got their own Volcarona to deal with Ferrothorn. Um, do we want our own Dusclops here? Maybe not. Maybe Rhyperia is, uh, or maybe Volcarona here is not bad as well for their Ferrothorn, to be honest. Yeah, let's go Volk. Yeah, good game, dude. Really good game. Okay, so we've got Volker on and we've got Lipod coming out, which is fine. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go straight for the max and go Smite into Lipod. And I'm going to uh, sack and I'm going to go for a... I'm going to go for a Coil. And yeah, dude, if you mess, if you drop me a DM, either on here, or Twitter, or anywhere, uh, I'll definitely take some time to chat to you about the team for sure, mate. Um, after the stream, yeah, this is the thing that I wanted to like lead Melotic here because if the if they start going for um, the shenanigans with Volcarona, like Melotic's in a perfect position to start taking advantage of this. So uh, we'll go for the Mindstorm now. Um, and I'm just going to actually muddy water here. Oh. oh, okay. We are minus two special defense. Oh, it <laughs> it's itself in confusion. Okay. I mean, we're getting pretty lucky. Like with the, the berry, there's super interesting. What was that? Pasho berry. Nice. Okay. Um, that's nuts. Okay. So Primarina coming in. Um, Cyber Lucky, how are you doing, mate? I hope you're well. Thanks for jumping in and joining us tonight. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to go Mindstorm. And I think uh, that seems... If we stay in, if we stay in... Um, actually, I'm not. I'm going to go Smite. I'm going to go Smite because I think... I think what they do is they go um, Max. Um, max Overgrowth. Into Melotic. They 100% do. And I know I'm switching out on a plus two competitive boost, but we will go down to a max overgrowth here. I'm pretty sure of it from this Volcarona. Oh, it's Airstream. Okay. We may have went down to that. They got the speed boost. Okay. So it's a good job we didn't switch in the Volcarona there, to be honest, because we would have went completely down. Um, now they're confused. I really liked our Volcarona here. That would have been the ideal play, because then we just Rage Powder Trick Room, and then we've got it set. Um, actually, what we could do. Switch. Yeah, we'll switch to Melotic. And... Do you have actually? Yeah, we'll attack actually and get rid because once the Volcarona is gone, it does make things a little bit easier for us. Uh, what have we got that we can take it down with? Nothing, <laughs> nothing. We need like knockoff here for the uh, the Volcarona. Um, hmm. Okay, we're gonna have to go after the Primarina. Not gonna happen. Dusclops come in. Okay, that's fine. 
We'll take a heat wave though from the yeah, and just about. Oh, and the burn, the burn. Terrible. Okay. Um, I think we can deduce though that it's not got Giga Drain. I don't think. Uh, the, the Primarina probably has though, so that's that's more than likely. Um, oh, there's not really much point of um switching out Ferrothorn here. If we can get an Acid Spray off, it's going to be super useful, but we'll see. We'll try and get a coil up with Melotic. Then we'll go from there. Okay, Volcarona hits itself in Confusion. That's useful. We'll get this Acid Spray off into... Yeah, okay. That's perfect. You can actually put the Dusclops to sleep the next turn if you want. Um, might be yeah let's put it to sleep let's stop it doing stuff uh, and let's go for a acid spray into Volcarona confusion ends gun rage powder hypnosis nightshade okay that's fine this is fine this is fine because we can now just put this thing to sleep and switch into our own Volcarona How did it miss? Oh, are you kidding? Come on. Come on, my guy. Um, all right. Heatwave's going to do a chunk to both of them. And we'll recover as well. We get the coil and we miss the hypnosis. I've never had that happen before. Never. Okay, there's the, the wake up. We avoid, which is great. Great news. We hit and we'll be able to get a recover off the night shit okay pain split that's fine um i think we got this well i say i think we've got this locked up i don't you can't ever say for sure can you um let's go for him tosses into primarina and just go for a good old struggle bug just in case we miss okay we're gonna this is not av prim so that makes a big difference i think Hypnosis is only 81%, I think, after a coil. Yeah, it's not the best. Honestly, the amount of times I get hit with a, a hypnosis after someone's coiled, though, you would think it's got, like, 100% accurate rate, honestly. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised I haven't trick roomed yet. Let's just heat wave. Let's just start getting damage out onto this Dusclops. Yeah, dude, it's always it's always that. It's always the same as sleep powder as well on like Venu or anything like that. The heat wave, uh, their their sleep powder will always connect. When you use it, it's always a thing. It's always it will always miss in that like really crucial situation. It's like so infuriating. It's just how it goes though, isn't it? Sometimes we'll recover and actually, huh? We could get. Do we just double attack it? I think we just double attack. You know. Because I don't really mind now with it. Yeah. I think the combination of Heat Wave, Muddy Water will get the Dust Clops. Should do. If we hit. <laughs> no way, come on. This is nuts. Um, okay, let's recover and let's just Heat Wave again. Let's hope. Let's hope. I mean, they can only... Yeah. Prim stays asleep. That's pretty lucky. Heatwave should get the Dusclops now. And that should wrap it... Like, it should wrap it up from here on out. So, let's see. I feel like the team's actually quite nice. It feels pretty solid. I'm actually pretty surprised with how the team's been doing, to be honest. Um, uh... Okay, let's just recover on this turn and just go for another heat wave. I don't mind if all Corona goes down here. The double miss, though. The double miss. Bevum always, mate. Always that. Like that. And we see the throat spray, we get the recover, and then the trick room is over. And we are going to be able to hopefully now muddy water and hopefully go for an expanding force and pick up the win. Oh, they're protecting. Protect us. Still protecting us. 
Actually, let's just do this. Let's just be really annoying. Let's go for this. <laughs> let's get that. I know, this is like dragging on, this one. There we go, we hit, finally. We let Hat pick up the win. Very good game to my opponent. And there is the uh, there is the team for tonight. But guys, thank you so much for coming out tonight. Honestly, it's been such a fun stream. Like, thank you all for contributing towards this team. It's been absolutely amazing. So uh, I really, I really have enjoyed it. Hopefully we can do maybe some more of these because like obviously with me being away next week, there won't be any streams just for next week. So what date will we be back on? I'll be back on Monday the 7th of September. Okay, so we'll be streaming that evening. So um, I'll have teams ready so we can go on the rank ladder. It'll be up and running by then. I'm sure you guys are going to be like super well versed with it because it will be a week in. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to. Well, I will have my switch, so I'm just not going to be able to do any content or anything, which is a little bit sad. But hopefully I should be raring to go on that Monday. But I'd love to do more of these in future with you guys. I think they're really um I think one, this is really fun. It's really nice to interact with you all while we're doing it. And I think it's really beneficial and we can throw ideas between ourselves around about Pokemon that, that work and things like that. So a big wholehearted thank you to each and every one of you that have come out tonight, to every one of you that have contributed and to each and every one of you that have just been pretty awesome, which is all of you. So thanks guys.